Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a video of one of my oldest Lego mocks. This is my Ellen Studio. Gluing your Lego sets and mocks protects them from breaking, but it stops you from ever using those parts again. Leglue allows you to glue and unglue your Lego sets so you can keep them safe, but use the parts again in the future. Visit the link in the description to learn more and check out Leglue in all its glory in my Leglue video. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. So around 2010, I began to watch Ellen every single day. Like my favorite show, I'd watch it every single night with my mom and it was great and I actually made this Ellen mock. I didn't make this one exactly, I've had several different versions of the Ellen mock, ranging from a whole, you know, two 48 by 48 base plate, four story buildings, to this 32 by 48 base plate. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the mock. This is like the final version I have, it's been pretty much the same for like a couple months, a couple years now, I haven't done much to it, but it's still a really cool mock, so that's why I'm showing you on video today. We'll start this video off in the main production studio where the show is filmed. Over here are the classic Ellen doors, as you can see they are white and blue, and I've designed them so that they slide open, reveal like you know a game or something behind, and then slide back when they're not in use. Above the doors is the big Ellen sign. As you can see, it's just made of a couple blue bricks and I think it looks pretty neat. Over here beside the blue doors is Tony. Tony used to be Ellen's DJ. I don't think he still is, but you know, I built Tony when he was the DJ, so that's why Tony's still the DJ in the Ellen studio. There's like a cameraman on him, you know, because maybe him and Ellen are having a conversation, as well as just the like producer telling him what to do. On the other side of the blue doors, we have some flowers, as well as two TV screens that just say, they're supposed to say Ellen, they don't right now because the little pieces of paper fell off, but pretend they say Ellen. Over here is the actual Ellen stage, so as you can see her backdrop it says Ellen, you can kind of not read that because it's a little hard to tell, but it says Ellen, trust me. There are even the steps up, just like in her show, and as you can see there, she is sitting there, you know, talking to the camera. Her chairs are red, because her chairs did used to be red in the show. I know they're white now, but I like the red chairs. I like the look of them in the Lego, especially. And then, as you can see, in the center, there's just a coffee table. Here we have a grip operator holding the boom mic, you know, just recording her talking. And here we have three cameras and camera men and women. Here, this camera is positioned towards the guest to film their reaction. This camera over here is positioned toward Ellen to film her reaction. And then there's one camera in the middle to like film them both. As you can see, this is like the main camera. That's why there's a monitor on it. And it's actually got a wire running to the control room. Over here, we just have two producers of the show, you know, looking out at the white doors, waiting for the next part of the show to happen. And they're just like making sure everything's on time and stuff like that. Over here, there's just like a teleprompter as well as another microphone to film the whole studio sound. There's these little antennas on the cameras and I'll explain what they are in a minute. So over from the main stage, you enter into the behind the scenes editing room. On this wall facing out to the studio, we just have a TV playing The Ellen Show so they can look up and sort of watch what's being filmed and being streamed live right now. And it is a swing around door so you can enter into the studio so they can talk to the other cameramen and producers, but they can shut it up so they like, can focus on what they're doing during the show. Here we have the two show editors, so the one guy's you know, just editing, making sure everything's alright, and then this guy's just kind of watching the, again on the screen and maybe putting in subtitles or hitting the doors or cueing laughter and things like that. Over here is like a generator and this is what controls all the cameras and the little antennas that are on each camera are actually wireless cameras so they're all transmitted here, placed onto these mixing boards and things like that and then stream live. Over here is like a main camera wire and as I mentioned the wire runs through the studio to the very main camera over here. If there was ever a problem with the wireless signals I included these wires here so that you can string them to the camera they're all just bundled up sort of thing and there are six of them so you can operate six cameras even when the show's wireless is down. Behind the studio and behind the editing room there's just two dressing rooms here. This one is Ellen's dressing room. She has a makeup table, a little like couch, as well as a trophy case. This other dressing room here just has a makeup table. In the back hallway of the dressing rooms, there's just another like show producer making sure that all the stars are ready on time. You walk from the dressing room, past the stage, backstage of course, into the green room. Back here in the green room, there's some extra chairs in case, you know, Ellen's get broken or something like that. There's an ATM so the stars can take money out of their bank accounts for the Ellen shop. There's this, like, Ellen backdrop here with the TV screen and some cool funky lights. There's more of the show's producers just getting things ready and these are some stage hands. This producer here is like a computer because she's directing the calls, telling people when they have to get ready to go on and things like that. 
There's also a coffee pot as well as a water cooler just so the stars have something to drink when they're getting nervous for the show. Back here in this very tight corner as you can see it's where the stage and the doors actually open up to reveal the stars and things like that. I've also included my own version of Ellen's Nowhere Go. This is what it looks like behind the blue doors when there's no Ellen's Nowhere Go. As you can see in the far corner there, there's just another cameraman filming the behind the scenes. Thanks everybody so much for watching this tour of my Ellen Mock. I really hope you enjoy 